Could we make them taste better? Theoretically, yes. Most meat we eat comes from animals bred over millennia for flavor. Wild boar tastes nothing like modern pork. It is gamey, tough, with a musky undertone that can overwhelm the palate. Modern pigs, by contrast, have been selectively bred for generations to develop intramuscular fat marbling, tender muscle fibers, and a mild, sweet flavor profile. Australian crocodile farms produce surprisingly delicious meat through selective breeding and carefully controlled diets. The result is white meat with a delicate texture, often compared to chicken or fish, with none of the muddy, reptilian flavors one might expect. The key is what they are fed and how they are raised. With enough scientific effort and investment, we could probably breed tigers with perfect marbling and juicy steaks. Imagine generations of captive tigers selected not for hunting prowess, but for tender meat and pleasant flavor. We would control their diet from birth. No scavenged carcasses, no fish, perhaps a carefully formulated feed designed to minimize off flavors. After decades or even centuries of selective breeding, genetic modification, and dietary manipulation, we might arrive at something palatable. We would see Instagram posts, hashtag tiger steak, hashtag treat yourself, hashtag only 10,000 per serving. After all, this is a world where people line up for $100 hamburgers and travel across continents for a single meal at an exclusive restaurant. If tiger meat could be made delicious, someone would absolutely pay extraordinary sums for it. But there is a much better reason not to eat carnivores, one that no amount of breeding or preparation can overcome. Curious? Watch the full episode from my YouTube channel. Thanks.